Hey, just so everyone knows, I will be streaming this build live today on Twitch, but let, let me just give you a sneak peek. Dude, your stupid turret, or whatever this is, your drone is bugging the hell out of me. Your stupid drone. Just wait for my shield to come back. Give me a few seconds. Dude, this drone. I hate this drone. Ah! There we go. Ooh, that was almost a 700k hit. Oh my gosh. Oh, he got my shield. Ooh, about to get you, Jedi. About to get you, Jedi. I'm about to get you, Jedi. Oh, you spider monkey. Get back over here. Dude, that stupid drone. Oh, nope, that's it. Here we go. Ah, Dolkin! Got him. GG's. Peace out, Jedi. Moving on. Mm, see what kind of hits. Ooh, 1.5. Eh, I think I can get like around 1.7. Let me see. We'll hit some more ads here. Ouch! Who's shooting me in the back? Sergeant Diaz. I see you. Oh, I forgot to melee. Damn it! Yeah, let me see what kind of uh, melee hits I can get while I'm still rogue. See if this guy comes back out. Highly doubtful. I'll get these people. Yo, shoot me in the back. Oh, that's a turret. Never mind. And we're still doing some damage with our weapon, even though we're full tank. Here we go. Hadouken! 1.7. 1.7 mil. Oh, boy. Hey, where you going? Nah, I'm oh, he's popping a med kit. Bro, come on. Why you gotta pop a medi? Just catch, just catch these bonks, bro. Oh, there we go. Almost 680k. Oh, he's teabagging. He's teabagging. He's not gonna be teabagging for long. Watch. Just watch this guy teabagging. This guy's funny. What's this? God assassin? This is funny. Watch this. Nope. Come on. About to get you. Just give me a second. We are doing this in a freaking landmark. Hold on. This ain't over. Let me hit this medi. Let me hit this Medi right quick. Oh, he just tried to freaking high kick me like Chuck Norris. There we go. Here I come, director. Hey! Oh, come on. Dude, you're gonna die. You're gonna die, bro. You're, you're gonna die, my friend. Yeah, my friend, you're gonna die. Here I come. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Are you shooting ads? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, man. What, what are you doing? Get back here. Oh, yeah. 6.99, 6.99, and he's down! And he's down! Who's teabagging now? That's what I thought. Take your, back, take your ass back to the checkpoint. That teabagging. Bye-bye. Yo, this is the same guy from the other Dark Zone. Bring around the Rosie. This guy. <laughs> he, followed, he followed me to the other Dark Zone. I think he has a bonk build on now, too. Yeah, he does. He has a bonk build on now, too. Oh, man. It's about to be bonk build versus bonk build here. Let me extract right quick. Let me extract. Yeah, you can hit me. You're not going to kill me. You're not going to kill me. <laughs> yeah, see? Can't kill me. You're not going to kill me with this one, my friend. Oh, he's cut the rope. Oh, he's cut the rope. No. No. I don't have damage. No! <laughs> oh! Oh, did I kill him? Oh, he's running. Oh, lucky. He's got the armor region. Yeah, he's running. <laughs> he's running. Nice. I see you. I see you. Ouch! Yo, we have been fighting for, I think, like 10 minutes now. I want to say we've been fighting forever. This is yet another extraction we're calling in. We've been fighting for what over over two extractions. Up oh, here's here's another extraction. Here, watch. Put it on the rope again. You're not gonna kill me, man. <laughs> here, I'll put it on the rope. Oh, you gotta, oh, okay, gotta <laughs> oh, he's popping a medi. Oh, I know what he's doing. Oh, he's gonna hit the rope. Nope, not this time, man. Not this time. Yo, I hit him for 763. Oh, he's got it. He's got it with the freaking Medi. Oh, that firewall Medi. Nope, nope, nope. I got you. I got you. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of here, man. Two dark suns in a row, my friend. 
and I'm gonna extract with NPCs hitting me. Let's go. The bonk build returns. That's right, the bonk build returns. And this time, well, it's fully maxed out and expertised. So I'm gonna show you the goods. I hope you enjoy. That was a nice little sneak peek. But let's get into the actual video. I hope you enjoy. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now, shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm going to bring to you an updated bonk build that I showed you about three or four months ago. And it wasn't maxed out and it wasn't expertise. And well, now I went ahead and I polished that bad boy off because yesterday during our live streams, a lot of people was talking about the bonk builds. They wanted to see and hear about the bonk builds. So, I decided this morning, let's put it on, and, well, you saw from the footage, I went to each dark zone, and I was able to PvP and win every PvP match in every dark zone using this build. So it still works, it's still cream of the crop, and they're not going to be able to stop you. So what I'm going to do in today's video is we will do the build breakdown followed by the gameplay and just get you out of here. And then I'm going to jump over to Twitch, and then you can see me use it live, all right? So, uh, with all that said and done, sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below, and finally, I'll add all the timestamps after the build breakdown. And starting with the specialization, you want to use the firewall specialization. This is key for the build. I promise you, you want to use the firewall specialization. You are not only utilizing the armor kit and that passive talent that it gives you, but you are also using the skill that is exclusive to this specialization. So please put on the firewall specialization. It is required for today's build. Now, with that being said, the only weapon you're really using is the Lady Death. You don't need to use anything else. And, in, and well, in fact, I have my placeholders. So I have the Slayer as my secondary and the backup boomstick as my sidearm, but you're not even using them. You are only using the Lady Death. And well, actually, you're not even using the Lady Death for the weapon damage. You are using the Lady Death because of this mod right here that is on the weapon. So you can see the hand grip also has these like uh, pointy brass knuckles type of deal, right? Well, it's an attachment called Kiss of Death. And this gives you 500% melee damage. 500. All right. Now we are matching that up with this holster called the Claws Out. Now the Claws Out, you can see on the attributes, it also gives you 500% melee damage. Okay. Now with that, we're matching that up with the Striker Shield which gives you a damage bonus per enemy that is within that cone, all right? It says, uh, in addition, the striker shield will boost the damage of the user and all allies behind them based on the numbers of enemies in front of them. And then you have your little damage buff and all of this. Now, it is a tier 6 shield with our uh, all blues that we are running on today's build video. Now, also, the booster hive. This is also key. Like, all of these things you have to use. The only thing you do not have to use is the secondary and sidearm. You can change it to whatever it is you want. Maybe, like, an AR, maybe a shoddy, maybe a sniper. Whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I'm just using the Lady Death because I'm just showing you what the build does, and then you can add on to it and make it even stronger. But the booster hive is a must. The reason being is it gives you 24% weapon handling, hazard protection, and, you guessed it, melee damage. So the booster hive will give you melee damage. The striker shield will increase your damage to everyone that's right in front of it. We are using the claws out to increase our melee damage. We are using the lady death to increase our melee damage. So you can start to see where everything is centered around melee. And I call this the bonk build because whenever you hit somebody with the shield in a melee, it makes a bonk 
sound. It's hilarious. It's so funny. And that's why everyone keys it. They, they say it's a bonk build because you run around and bonk, bonk, and it takes them out. Now, I know that in you know other places in the world, like Europe or whatever, <laughs> they, they say bonk in a different way, and I get it. You know, laugh it up. All right? It, it is funny. But let's get into the build. So for the Lady Death, we are sitting at 68.7k total damage. That's at Expertise 26, so this thing's fully maxed out. We have damage to targets out of cover on here, and all the attributes are maxed out with the talent Breathe Free. Now, we're not really using the talent or the weapon, uh, the bullets and all that. Not really. We're using it for that melee damage. For the build itself, it is all about survivability. High survivability. This is a 2 million armor build, but that is because everything is maxed out except for the expertise. I probably could get closer to 2.1 million if I fully expertised each of these items. It's just so expensive with the uh, exotic components. But let me uh, tell you how this build is, I mean, it's required. You can't really change these items. So let me explain. So for the mask, it's the Hollow Man mask. It's the named mask. You can't really use anything in its place. It gives you hazard and it gives you health damage. You want that, all right? The chess piece, everyday carrier. It's a named chess piece. So you have to use it under the chess piece slot. Not only that, but it gives you perfectly efficient, which is the best thing to use in the dark zone, period. You are not going to lose your med kits. Your four med kits or your four armor kits, whatever you want to call them, your four armor kits are going to turn into 9, 10, 11 armor kits because it has a 75% chance of not consuming, which makes it so useful. It makes your survivability skyrocket, especially if you have armor regen on top of that because then you could just hit the instant heals instead of the full heal. So that's a must, right? So the mask is a must, the chess piece is a must, the holster. This is a must because it's the claws out. It's the named holster. So you have to use it right here, all right? And that gives you that melee damage. The knee pads, Emperor's Guard knee pads. Now the reason why you have to use these here is because you're matching it up with the Golang gear. Now, some of you might say, well, you could use three-piece Heligard right here instead, which you could, but you're going to lose 0.5% armor regen because right here we get the Emperor's Guard with 1%, and then Golan Gear, the two-piece bonus, gives you 1.5%. Unlike the Heligard that only gives you 2% total for three items, these three items will give us 2.5%. So you get more out of it by using this exact combination. So then that leaves me with these last two items. They have to be Golan Gear. Now the reason why I'm saying that is because you get the most armor regen from these two items. Out of everything in the game, it's Golan Gear. You have to run these two. The only way to get around that is maybe use the Memento. That could be the only way to get around that. But then you're relying on bonus armor on kill, and you're not relying on bonus armor whenever you're close to an enemy, like I have here with Adrenaline Rush. So in my opinion, this is the only way to make the bonk build. Because you're hazard resist, right? You have your armor regen, and you have all your melee damage. And this has everything for you. It has the Adrenaline Rush to give you that bonus armor whenever you're close to an enemy, which really does help you out. You have the perfectly uh, efficient chest piece, which really helps you. The health damage on the mask does help. When you're knocking them down to their armor, uh, through their armor, that next hit is a guaranteed kill, no matter what, because of that health damage. Not, not just that, but remember that health damage, uh, your shield has health on it. So if you're going up against another person that has a bonk build, you could go shield to shield 
And as long as you hit them first or hit whoever first, you'll be able to knock out their shield before they knock yours out. So this is a must. So in my opinion, this is the only way to make it as efficient as possible. Now, I will maybe go a different route and just go straight uh, armor region and revisit that with the memento. But even in the dark zone, I feel this is easier because you don't even have to get memento stacks. You literally just put this on and you're good to go. Not only that, but I can use this in conflict and in the dark zone, and I can use this in PvE. I can use this anywhere with anybody and not have to worry about stacks, and I don't have to worry about anything. I just put this on and go. All right, so that was a nice little summary, right? Now let's do a deep dive. Starting with the mask, we have the Hollow Man mask. This is a PvP exclusive item. However, you can get it from a named item cache or the blueprint that is from the Descent game mode. Now, what makes this mask so special is it comes with health damage as an attribute. This is rare. It's the only item in the game that will give you health damage as an attribute for a gear item. Now, as far as the brand set bonus, it is named Y'all, so you get Hazard. I rolled Hazard on here with a bleed mod because I do not want people to throw a hive on me and get away with it. So they throw a hive down, they see it's not really going to mess with me, and then they run. They run. Now, as far as the attributes, we have armor, hazard, bleed resistance. Good to go. Down to the chest piece, uh, everyday carrier. This is the named Bellstone Armory chest with perfectly efficient. We already talked about it. Use an armor kit. has a 75% chance not to consume, so you can keep using it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. As far as Bellstone Armory, it gives us 1% armor regen. Uh, with this combination, we're sitting at 3.5% total armor region. As far as the attributes, armor for the core, hazard, and armor region with burn resistance to combat the chem launchers and the burn stickies. Going down to the holster, this is a must, claws out holster. This is also a PvP exclusive item. You can get it in the dark zone conflict or from a named item cache. And then finally, you can get the blueprint from Descent. Now, as far as this one, um, I wanted Hazard on here, so then I rolled the armor for the core attribute, and then it comes with that melee damage. Now, the pistol damage and the skill damage is there, but I really don't care one way or another for it. I'm indifferent for those. Going to the knee pads, Emperor's Guard knee pads. This one, not double region, but region and Hazard. You need Hazard... For the dark zone, they are going to try to throw the kitchen sink at you, whether it be chem launchers, sticky bombs, seeker mines, hives. They're going to throw it at you, so you want your hazard up. That way you run through it like a freaking tank, and then melee them right in the grill. Now, as far as these uh, knee pads, you need them with hazard, so you can roll armor for the core. Going to the gloves, we have Golden Gear gloves and Golden Gear backpack. Now the Golden Gear backpack, armor region, hazard, bleed, and then armor for the core with adrenaline rush. Now remember, adrenaline rush is different in the dark zone than it is in normal uh, gameplay. And that's because it is actually cut in half. So you only get 10% bonus armor instead of 20 in the dark zone. Or in conflict. Um, but everywhere else, you'll get the 20%. As far as Golden Gear, the brand set bonuses, it gives us status effects and armor region. We really don't care about the status effects. We're only there for the regeneration. That way we can keep ourselves going and increase that survivability. And then the last piece of Golden Gear, the gloves, armor for the core, armor region, and hazard. And that, my dear agents, is the build. Pretty simple. You throw down the booster whenever you get near an enemy. You run at them, whip out the shield, hit them a few times, take the shield off, run around, whip the shield back out, hit them a few times, run around, they will die. Now finishing up with the stats, this is for the Lady Death. We're sitting at 68.7k weapon damage, 22.9 for PvP. 41 crit chance, 50 crit damage, and 70 headshot. Don't forget about the health damage and damage to targets out of cover. 
Offensive tab, 36% all weapons damage bonus and 30% SMG damage bonus. So we are sitting at 66% damage bonus total every time we use the Lady Death. Adrenaline Rush on the backpack, perfectly efficient on the chest piece, and you are good to go. We are rounded up to 2 million armor. We're actually sitting at 1.95. We're at 83k regen per second, which is fairly nice for a bonk build. 363k health and 10% explosive resistance. But then we have 80% hazard, which then with the mods gives us 100% bleed and 90% burn. But that 10% to the explosive resistance is due to my watch level. So let's talk about my watch. Here is my disclaimer for all my build videos. I am sitting at watch level 8,794. That means all these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. Now, if you are at or above shade level 1,000, you can copy and paste my build and get the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1,000, some of these numbers are not going to be maxed out. Therefore, when you go to copy and paste my build, some of the numbers might be lower. It's okay. Don't freak out. It's still a great build to use, I promise you. Just put it together, and you'll see for yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments, and shout out where you're from. Now, if you found this uh, build breakdown helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing, and that'll be it for me. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out, and roll that footage. Huh? Oh, it just threw me into Hostiles the game. Detected. All right. It's 16, 16. Nothing's happened yet. All right. So we're in Skirmish. This is Conflict Agent PvP. Down. The Skirmish game mode, it is 4v4. First team to 20 kills wins. Now, if you haven't Hostile. yet, hit the Explosive thumbs up, support the channel. Detected. And here we go. That's a sniper right there. Looks like a sniper. I see you up top. I'm waiting for him. I don't want to get hit with that snipe. There we go. He jumped. Go up there, CG. No, go up top. Go up top. He's up there. Ooh, 900k. Yo, I just hit that guy for 900k. Holy crap. And look, I just used my uh, med kit and I still have two. Here we go. Oh, got me with fire. Got him. Where's your friend? Hello. Got him. I just hit him for 1.1 million. Holy crap. Yo, bring out the bonk builds. Bring out the bonk builds. Holy crap. We are going ham. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's going to go this way. Nice. Good job. What are we up by six? Woo. Woo. That bonk build. Mm -mm. System disrupted. Oh, he got me. Immediate medical assistance needed. Agent out of action. Mm, good pickup. Oh, man. GG's. GG's. Nah, that's mercy. That is mercy. Now let's see. Got him. Oh. And we have a healer now. Dang, dude. 
This game's over. This game's over. Oh! One's out, one's out! Again. Oh! Nope, he got me. Oh my gosh, dude. That mercy rule, though. GG's. 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 Yep. GG's. What did that take? Like four minutes? That was a huge, huge win. Dude, that was unbelievable. Bonk build, brah. Brah. Me and that one guy just steamrolled their entire team. That was ridiculous. Let's see this. Just show it. I don't think I got a. Uh, I don't think I got um, MVP, but I know it was me and one other guy. We were just steamrolling through everybody. Let's see it. Come on. Show us the podium. Come on. Show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the money. Yo, did they all back out? Why is this taking so long? It took four minutes for us to beat them, and it's going to take two minutes to load in the freaking in-game? Come on. Yo, what's going on here? Why? Why are we stuck on this? They all backed out? Hey, GG's. Yeah, it was me and this uh, CG guy. Nice, dude. Give that guy his flowers. Me and him just steamrolled through their whole freaking squad. Let's see. Yeah, dude. I went 5-0, and he went 8-1, and nice. 12.2 million damage done with a bonk build. Get out of here. GG's, let's go. And here we are for game two of the bonk build. And remember, I will be live streaming this on Twitch later. So you can find me on Twitch at Kamikaze Von Doom. If, you, uh, if you're into the whole streaming thing, I know. I know for me, I, I prefer YouTube, but I'm trying to show some uh, some Twitch love. But all right, here we go. Game number two. We are on the Wharf map, and we are playing Skirmish again. This is 4v4, PvP, first team to 20 kills wins. And again, I'm using that melee build, a.k.a. the Bonk build. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Not going to lie. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Um, I, I think I first whipped this thing out about four months ago, something like that. And, uh, I was told yesterday on stream to, uh, bring it back out, so here we go. Yo, look at that guy's knee pads. It looked like little TVs were on his knee pads. That was crazy. I wonder which knee pads those were. <laughs> those were crazy looking. Alright, here we go. PvP. The first game was a straight mercy, so let's see what happens this game. But my partner in crime last game is on the other team, so we'll see what happens. Neutralize all run. You run out of reinforcements. Yo, that dude's name is Disneyland. What? Agent Jaws and Supermans. Yo, shout out to my team. And shout out to the other team. Let's have some fun. Let's see what happens here. Yep. Hostile. Caught one. Explosive seeker mine detected. Hostile stinger hive detected. Hostile defender drop detected. Woo! I'm getting shot in the back. man come on with it can't stop the bonk
Oh. Come on, Jaws. Oh, they pushed way too fast. I was not expecting them to push that fast. Oh, they're getting all my teammates. Bye bye. The enemy is acquiring bye bye. Boost. And the enemy has acquired the boost. Hostile stinger hive detected. <laughs> he already lost all of his bonus armor. This is hilarious. Crap, we're going ham. See you. Woo! Yo, I'm 4 0 oh, 5 with a freaking melee build, dude. With a freaking melee build, my guy. Gonna go up here. An agent needs assistance. Hostile fixer mm. drone detected. die here. I don't have any med kits. Ooh, I don't have any med kits. There. I went down swinging. <laughs> yeah, if you saw that, just say you saw that in chat or in the comments. I went down swinging. We're up by two. I'm four, one, and five. Ooh, that the was good. Is claiming the supply that was pretty drop. funny. <clears throat> They're killing my teammates and then leaving me for last so that they can focus fire. It's so good. Supply drop is being claimed by the enemy. Hostile stinger hive detected. Hostile defender drone. Hostile explosive seeker mine detected. Hmm. Hostile hive <laughs> detected. Being claimed by friendly. There are no more rogue reinforcements. The specialization. Yo, let's go, dude. This is stupid, man. Five, one, and seven now. Yo, I'm at 19 million damage done with a freaking melee build. This is unbelievable. You're you're not gonna be able to get this much out of a normal build. Oh, 900k. Oh, I just hit him for a million. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Was he wearing glass cannon? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. GG's. GG's. Ooh. That was crazy. <clears throat> Yo, if you want to see more like that, follow me over here on Twitch. And I'll be live streaming it. 
I am Kamikaze Von Doom. I hope you have a great day. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you in the next video, okay? We're making our way to 102,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for the ongoing support. If you haven't yet, make sure you ring that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my daily Division videos. But all right. Hey, shout out to, look at that, Disneyland got MVP. Hey, get it. But all right, everyone. That's it for me. I hope you have a great, great one. I'll see you. Peace out. Oh, wait, what did I do? I went 6, 1, and 8. 21.3 million damage. GG's. Let's go.